It was a pretty sad day in my life, probably the toughest shock I ever got. She was originally diagnosed about March of 08. Had a, she had a surgery in May, and then she passed away in, in, in August. So it was very, very quick. They gave him a year. He lasted six weeks from diagnosis to the day we buried him. There's no way of telling. There's just absolutely no way of telling, and it can, can strike anybody. Every year, 100,000 new individuals are diagnosed with colon cancer. And on an annual basis, 55,000 individuals are dying of colon cancer. TGEN's role is actually to reduce that number, both the incidence of colon cancer, reduce that number from 100,000 to something less, as well as reduce the number of individuals who are uh, passing away as a consequence of colon cancer. In her specific case, uh, she had some symptoms, was not aware that they were even anything to be concerned about because she didn't feel bad. My mother was a very strong person. She never even had an illness, even a cold in their whole life. And to be struck down by something like this within a four or five month period, I mean, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of eye opening. My brother was supposed to go get a colonoscopy and he never did. Uh, even after we buried my father and uh, my brother told me he went and got a colonoscopy, he did not. TGEN's role going forward in helping the clinicians of today as well as tomorrow is actually to provide them with information which hopefully will allow them to assess early on in the disease's etiology who's at greater risk for actually developing colon cancer. When I started doing colon cancer research almost uh, 12, 14 years ago, uh, there was only one treatment available for patients with colon cancer. They had this theory back then that uh, you take and you biopsy the uh, tumor, you see which uh, chemos uh, kill it the best, and it was the way of sort of isolating which drug would work best. TGen now, that's to another level of really breaking it down and looking at it from the genetics part and isolating more of what the drugs will have the best effect. We will be looking at a number of new techniques developed at TGen to find new targets and new treatments and a lot of these are targeted uh, towards molecular abnormalities in the tumor. We can screen these individuals for those risk factors and then perhaps, hopefully, bring them into the clinic more frequently and catch the disease at an earlier stage and thus prevent it, if not cure it like breast cancer. I mean, if you find it early enough, you, you can save your life. Having to hear that from a loved one that, you know, no hope whatsoever, you know, to, to survive. And, and I, think, I think we as a society owe ourselves to be able to do better than that.